more members from yesterday was free. Then. Dan, you got a question? It's okay if you skip and jump to the next, but I'll answer. I'll share based up. Just go back to it because you might it might get to, it might come to you after you're doing the others.
They waited one. There you go. Stop and stop. Okay. And stop. Put your pens away for now. Don't worry. Put your highlighters out. Did you skip? Yes, we saw. Trying to do solid. 
Uh, I have the flow rate following. Okay. Part of your final if I need to cover it. Yeah. Sorry. See, you forgot that I was trying to test second day. I forgot. I mean, they were here. Yeah. Okay. Did they sign yours? No. This is so hard. One eye. I wanted to do day how much I get. Who else have I not gotten to? Did I miss anyone? Okay. Answer to number one is 25 drops per minute. You got this one. Hands up. I wanted to see that the first four is solid. Answer to number two is 25 drops per minute. Answer to number three is 2,000 drops per minute. Hands up. And answer to number four is 150 drops per minute. That's all I get. I have number two, and yeah, because they went from 25 to 2,000. I was like, highlight the ones you didn't get of the four. No, I got it all right. You're welcome. If you still didn't get this first four, we have a problem. You have a problem. This final is tomorrow. Freshman, I don't expect you to get numbers five to ten, five to eight, because that was a sequence two topic. They have questions like that on the final exam. Tomorrow's final exam. So we're gonna go over that real quick okay, today, but I'm still gonna think whether or not, because it's a sequence two topic. Maybe not. Okay. Because we took three days for that topic, correct? Sequence two, the percentage. Um, you should have gotten, if you got to the, to nine, which is your pre flow rate topic again, here are the answers. Eight drops per minute for number eight, who got that line hands up. Almost supposed to be solid as well. 66 drops per minute, because it's 66.66. Six, 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 six. Okay, we got that one, hands up. Eight and nine.
highlight the ones you didn't get. Uh, I mean, nine and 10, nine, eight is eight drops per minute, 10 is 66 drops per minute. 11 is 333 ml per hour. We've got that one. And so, uh, it's a thousand divided by three. It's just V over T. Okay. And that usually comes up on the PTCE. It doesn't have a C. It doesn't have a drop back. So don't overthink, it's just a simple V over T. 12 is 333 as well. And per hour, got that one, hands up. It should be solid. We've been doing this four hours yesterday, okay? 13 is 416 ML per hour, got that one, hands up, if you got to it. 14 is 180 ML, got that one, hands up. 15 is 135 ML, got that one. 16 is 240 ml, we got that one. Good. 17 is 200 ml, we got that one. It's up, ml per hour. 18 is 20 hours and zero minutes, we got that one. It's up. 19 is 11, 10 p.m. <laughs> you got it? <laughs> okay. 20 is 23, 10, who got that one? That's international specific, military specific. 21, if you got to this point, it's four hours and 10 minutes. Who got that one? 22, 4, 25 p.m. Who got that one? 23 is 16, 25. Who got that one? Hands up. 24, if you got to this point, it's just conversions, 165 ml. Hands up. 25 is 480 ml. Hands up. 26 is 240 ml. Hands up. 48 teaspoon and 16 tablespoon full. Correct, okay. Number 27, favorite, Cremorin. <laughs> Answer, anyone who got this? Is it? Let me do this one, because I can't get this one. Answer. 60 days because it's going to be two months, correct? Okay. Zithromax answer, eight tabs. 29 is 65 tabs in 14 days. 30 is 32 days. 31 is 18 days. 32 is 270 ml. And 33 is 150 ml. Turn in your papers in the basket. Tomorrow, as part of the review, you will continue answering this, okay? Put it in the basket for now. You're not taking it home, okay? Because I'm gonna finish the rest of the review. Final. The topic. Pass. <laughs> got the four correct anchors. Solve it. First four. First four. First four. You should have. We spent four hours. Maybe it's an exhibit plus three hours. Ready? Oh, I think I have a couple of them. In the restroom, if you have to. Anyone? One minute, go. So you don't want to blink. Yeah. One place, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, there. Maybe. Yeah, thank you. Yesterday was my contact, so I bought my solution on my way home. And I decided to wear glasses today. So blurry.
Everybody got the Yukon House um, IV solution back over. Time we started. You guys heard about the solute and solvent for you in solution. The next year, I made more chicken. We were missing one, but she found hers from the book. Oh. Yeah. Um, do you want to touch with Miss J before she leaves so you can see your old? She wanted to see her old. Okay, let's start. Recap before I erase this. Okay. When you're asked to calculate the day supply or how much ML or how much drops, and you're talking about infant drops, oral droppers, and this isn't given, remember this an ML is 20 drops. Okay. So you can calculate. That's why I presented it. Usually drops come in by the month. Number I drops, which I have at the back. Okay. And then you just do ratio and proportion to calculate the number of drops or to calculate M. Okay. In reverse. When we're talking about IV bags, it's a little bit different. We have what we call macro drips and micro drips. So macro is large. Okay. Larger drips. So if you notice, there's only 10 drops per M. There's only 12, 15, 20 drops per M. When you say micro, smaller drips, right? So there's going to be 60 drops in a milliliter. That clear? Okay. This question, the macro and micro as a prefix, came up both on the PTCE and the EXEQT. So remember your Latin and Greek prefixes and abbreviations. Moving on, overfill. Everybody received a sample chart. Next topic is overfill. I haven't seen overfill questions on the PTCE nor the EXCPT. However, our students who come back were working as IV techs in Valley Hospital. They talk about this. They do this every single day. Okay. They said, oh, Ms. L, does PTCE involve 
Kevin's PTT involved, I think five questions he said on overfill, and I do this every day as an IV tech at Valley Hospital. We have to calculate overfill. So we will go over it. I think there's two questions on overfill on this one. But I'd like you to look at the table. Okay. The overfill topic has something to do with your IV bag. This IV bag, it says on the label, it has a thousand ml in it, which is equivalent to one liter. Manufacturers don't have it exactly as a thousand ml. So it's called an overfill. There is an overfill. So the manufacturers give charts or tables like that. Master Braun okay. will give you charts like that. It will tell you how much overfill is in the IV bag. Now using percentage, how much do you think is the allowed overfill in an IV bag? Looking at the table that you have, about how much? Let me see if you know percentage. That's what I was trying to remember. This is This is okay. This is not the shoe bag. That's okay. You have to. I told her it passed. I even. Don't even remember. <laughs> you can take it again just to refresh yourself, but it's not going to count. Okay, so what do you think? Is it allowed overfill? What did you say? 2% too? To 7% to is its calculation? What else? Allowed overfill is 10%. Remember this. Cloud overfill is 10%. No more than 10 years. That's why Jonathan calculated some 2% overfill, some 7%. But you will notice one and then 110 ml, that's 10% overfill. Is that clear? Okay. Here is the application to that. Pass this worksheet around. Always kept G. Do it and apply it in practice.
So if the overfill allowed is 10%, if the IV bag is a thousand ml, up to how much based on this rule should your IV bag have? What's 10% of a thousand? Quiz again. A hundred. So total would be 1,100 ml. Up to 1,100 ml is allowed. Okay. If it's a hundred ml IV bag, what's the allowed limit? It'll be 10. So total volume would be 110. Okay. If it's a 500 ml IV bag, 10% max limit, 550. Correct. Okay. Just testing you real quick on 10%. Addition to the amount of IV bag. Mitomycin, here's your drug, 40 milligrams, 0 0.5 milligram per ml sterile water dilution is added to 1,000 ml normal saline, which means if you are to visualize it, this IV bag, one liter, 1,000 ml is normal saline. This has to be infused over six hours. Determine if the CSB, what's CSB? I'm gonna take note of this. This might be exactly what's gonna show up on the final exam. D, no. What's CSB? Compounded, <coughs> sterile, product or preparation. Assume a 50 ml overfill for a thousand bags. Is this still within the limit? A thousand ml bags? The overfill is 50. You were given the overfill of still 50. First question show how to calculate the amount of sterile water diluent to be added. And you want. Very good. Okay. I heard ration proportion. That's why I said very good. Walk me through it. I'll write it on the board. You said ration proportion. How do I set it out? 40 milligrams over X. 40 milligrams over X equals 0 0.5 milligrams over 100 ml. So this is ML, correct? Mm -hmm. You see that? Just on the right track. Okay. So many numbers, right? But stick to the problem. The first question was how to calculate the amount of sterile water diluent to be added. Don't overthink it. If 0 0.5 milligrams is to one ml, how much would be 40 milligrams? X would be? So you got an answer for the first problem. Do not overthink or overcomplicate it, just like any of our problems in life. Next question, follow-up question. Show how you would estimate the amount of overfill plus diluent. Thousand ml plus the fifty ml plus the eighty ml would be these are making me proud. One thousand one hundred and thirty ml. See if you understood the problem. Straight to the point. The question was how would you estimate the amount of overfill? You just calculated the diluent. You just count. It gave you the overfill. And how much is the bag? Thousand. It's a comprehension question. It's not necessarily a math question. See that? Now follow up. What is the final volume of the IV solution in ML? There you go. The initial one is to show, to show your work. 
Second one was give me the final answer to your work. Okay. So the answer is 1,130. Now, this one needs a percentage calculation. It's 10% of 1,000, I just asked you. 100. So the total is 1,100 if it's just 10% we're talking about, right? So the question this time is, is this volume more or less than 10% of a liter? Because this is 1,130. So the answer is more than a Now, based on your answer to D, what adjustment in the volume of the base solution is necessary? So this is easier to answer if you're working already in the field, if you're working with IHS. But this is how it's gonna go, okay? So you know that you need 80 ml, right? And this has a 50 ml overfill, it's a thousand ml. Right. So 130 ml, right? 30 ml should be withdrawn from this IV bag before injecting what? The drug. Before injecting the drug. Why? Because it has to be 1,000. US ad, which is my next topic. You see that? You already did all those calculations that you saw, but now this is over 130 M. Right? So before doing that, withdraw 130 ml from this bag that has a 50 ml overfill. See that? Because you're over 130 ml. Now, uh, now you're going to inject the 80 now. It will be exactly what? 1,000 ml. It's not difficult. Right? You take, no, they here. No, you don't take out the 50. Because there will be the overfill, no matter what. 1,130 1, minus 1,000. Wouldn't that be with the medication only? So wouldn't it? Yes. So your final volume should be 1,000 ml with a medication. Total volume. Is that clear? Okay. And that's when we call, this is another question on your final, and a common question on the PTCE. Remember this? this that was you, right, Sarah? We got the QSN. I was saying this L Q S ad A D. She was thinking A D is what? Right ear. Right? It's part of the options. So she chose that on the exit exam. Well, correct, A D is right ear, but know that in IV there's an abbreviation called QS ad. It stands for quantum sufficiat addendum, which means add enough to make it to, they forget, example, QS add 1,000 ml. QS add 1,000 ml. Total quantity should be 1,000 ml. But you need to inject 300 ml of the drug. That means what? There's 700 ml solution. You follow? So when you're asked, say for example, the volume is at 700, right? QS add quantum sufficient addendum, add enough quantity. QS add 1,000 ml to get to the 1,000 ml level. How much are you going to add? 
That's your QSF. It can't be 1,000 plus 300. When you see the word QS add, add enough quantity to make it. You follow? Once you see this in a prescription in a hospital and it says QS add, add enough quantity to make it. In our example, 1,000 ml. QS add. So your final volume should be a thousand ml, right? Before you proceed, you've calculated that there's going to be 130 ml. Because this is a QS add 1000 ml. Another example. Any questions on this one on the overfill? Do not overthink it. Let's questions. There's a question on QS add on your finals too. Let me give you an example. What amount of sterile water is needed to QS add 2000 ml if the total volume of each additive is 1656. Determine the amount of sterile water needed QS add 2000 ml. What does QS add mean? Uh, add enough quantity to make it. Add enough quantity to make it, right? So it's a simple, what's the operation? Subtraction, good job. The amount of sterile water needed to QS add 2000 ml if the total volume of each additive is 1656 ml. Total additive is 1656, QS add 2000 ml. The answer is? Bingo, we got one answer on your exam right. And get confused. Why that's not right here? But there'll be options on the PTCE to throw you off because it's AD. So don't tell me I didn't teach you that. Number two. Because I saw it all the time. What's the first place after the decimal point? Ten. Ten. What's the next one? Hundred. The next one? Thousand. Very good. <laughs> the next one? It is on your final exam. Okay. Any questions before I get to percentage? I have an hour to talk about percentage. No questions? So tomorrow we'll do two hours of review before I take the final exam of everything. Okay. I'm just going to talk about the equivalent tomorrow. <laughs> this day and I don't like those two questions. Did you understand the overfill? Don't overthink. It's really simple like that. <laughs> okay. But this is something that's important for you to remember. QS add quantum sufficient addendum, which means add enough quantity to make it. It's not complicated to subtraction. The final volume should be what it says after the words QS add. Okay, and you got it right. 344 ml. You just adopt it from the total. Any questions? Start with a percentage. One minute break again, two minutes rest room before I start with percentage. This is another topic where you should not blink percentage. Yeah, I got you.
Too quiet, you understood? Too quiet, it's either you didn't understand or you understood. Yeah. Right? I guess you're just surprised that it's that simple. It is that simple. It's usually your head. Like in life, we overcomplicate. <laughs> we overthink too, even our problems. I try. I should get those pirates. <laughs> like pirates. How do you call it? Right? Eye patch. Yeah. Because I can't see with my left eye. Oh no. Two days now. No, I think it is Karen. Thought it was my contact. They'll be fine today with my glasses. No mistake. Are you cold, Ashley? I'm hot. You are cold. <laughs> oh my god! I'm like I wanted to call Aaron and say, "Can you check our thermostat?" <laughs> yeah, and you have vents under you. Yeah, I'm sweating. <laughs> I know. Throw in half a year, and there's no projector even, so there's no one heat there. on my face. It's just my thermostat. Yeah, I mean, this one was just showing. Show how okay. Let's start with percentage. Let's review. This is a review for the rest of you. Freshman, this is something new. That's why you didn't get to answer page two of that quiz, is because you haven't gone through this one. Okay. But this is important. Okay. Don't worry about it. We're going to go over the sequence two again. I've seen it in the finals, but it looks like I'm not going to count it, but I'm going to supplement it with other questions, okay? Depending on how you feel right now, okay? Too short a time. Percentage. We're going to talk about IV bag. Most common abbreviations used in IV bags are capital D, which stands for dextrose. Right? A picture of sugar on your dextrose. Okay. Double U stands for water. And A stands for so, Ooh. Sodium. <laughs> Sodium. CL. Fluoride. We combine those two, it becomes. Picture salt when I see sodium chloride. I picture sugar when I see dextrose. I picture salt when I see sodium chloride. Okay. Another one with LR lactated ringers or ringers lactate. What's S W L I? Sterile water for injection. Sterile water for injection.
Those are the most common abbreviations you will see in the clean room when you're working with IVs or IV bags. Okay. Sterile water for injection. Remember that. This IV bags come in different volumes, 250, 500, 100, 1,000, that's the total volume. And your IV bag is either dextrose, sodium chloride, or a combination of both, right? Okay. Their measurement will be in percentage. Electrolytes, hint, hint, wink, wink, final exam, are measured in milliequivalents. The electrolytes that we add in IV bags are measured in milliequivalents. We're gonna go over this tomorrow, I'll put it on the side. But when we're talking IV bags, it's percentage. Okay. So when we're talking percentage, you always have to remember that there are three percentages that go when it comes to concentration. Either weight over weight, volume over volume, or weight over volume. You have to remember that weight over weight will always be the unit for weight because you will not see this unit. You will just see percentage, right? will be grams, unit for weight will be grams, and the unit for volume should always be ml, which means percentage weight over weight is grams over grams, correct? Times 100, it's percentage, correct? Percentage volume over volume will be? ML over ML times 100. If you forget this, weight should always be in grams and volume should always be in ML, you will get your calculation. So what you will see are just percentages. These units are invisible. All right. So what's weight over volume? Grams over ML. Grams over. And this is the most common one. Why is it the most common one? Because it's usually a solid or a powder dissolved in a liquid that creates a solution, okay? You will understand this better as you do labs with Ms. J in compounding. Wait, Ms. <laughs> should I get me? <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> like I'm throwing her under the bus, like, oh, she's passing all the responsibility to me. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, see? But like pay attention even if we're working on something. Okay, you have to remember, first thing you have to remember when it's percentage, those are all invisible. You'll just see percentage. You have to remember they either came from weight over weight, volume over volume, or weight over volume. Picture this. If it's weight over weight, there'll be two solids that you combine. Semi-solids count which means this is a calculation for the strength of the drug in percentage for your ointments. The so base is usually Vaseline or lotion that doesn't have a set, such as your Lubriderm or your Eucerin. Is that clear? So this is a combination of something that's measured in weight and the base is also in weight. Why the concentration and percentage. This one, what do you think? Combination of two drugs or substances that are both in what form? Liquid. And they create a liquid, a solution, or a suspension. And what do you think this one is, which is the most common? 
Powder dissolved in a liquid that creates a liquid. Okay. You have to remember that your percentage will be either one of these three. Always. You have to remember that when it comes to weight, it will always be measured in grams. And when it comes to volume, it will always be measured in volume. So because the students like ratio and proportion, this I converted easily. So you can use it ratio and proportion if you see it. Grams over 100 grams. Work yeah, it's the same. But you have to remember that your numerator is your weight of solute and your denominator will always be total volume or weight of solution, not solvent. Or in the case of that compound, because they're solid. Can you follow? Well, if you do this, you don't multiply it by 100 anymore. Clear? Is it coming back to you? No? ML over ML then will be ML of solute over 100 ml of a total solution. Total, always total. I'm not going to do a deep one like sequence two. No. Okay. Next one would be what do you think? Grams of solute over 400 ml. Over 100 ml of the total. Mixture or solution. Let's define solute, solvent, and solution. Sugar. Solute. Solute. Put in water. Solvent. Okay. What's the sugar? The solute. What's the water? The solvent. And what's the total? Solution. There you go. Just so you can picture. Solute is the substance to be dissolved. Solvent is the dissolving media. The combination is solution. This is good because you don't have chemistry anymore. Right, Mr. No more chemistry for you. Okay. So Ms. L, which one is solute? Which one is solvent if they're both liquid? The smaller. The smaller one. The smaller what? Uh, the smaller, uh, oh, the smaller quantity. Quantity or amount would be that? Solute. Very good. The one with the lesser quantity will be your solute. Okay. I'm not going to do sequence two all over again right now. Okay. Talking about this specifically, like how much solute should be added, but know that your denominator is always total, not just a solvent. Okay, so if this dextrose or a sugar, okay, if the water here is 100 ml, for example, but you added the sugar, became 110 ml, in hint, wink, wink, PTCE, what is the powder volume? Powder volume is your final volume, which the volume, the total volume became 110, correct? But then you added sugar, that sugar accounted for space. It became 110. So final volume minus initial volume. The powder volume is 10 ml. It comes up PTCE and EXCPT all the time. I remember this experiment back in elementary, a pebble, okay, is what we used. There was a beaker with 100 ml water. The teacher dropped a pebble. It raised the level of water. Final volume minus initial volume is your powder volume. Or if you see the word displacement, powder displacement. I used sugar because that's 
dextrose, like I said, I picture sugar, correct? So if this is your IV bag, not liquid, but there's dextrose in there. This is now your dextrose solution, right? Okay, household name. If you dissolve sugar in water, what do you call that? Yeah, heat. What do you call that? Dissolve sugar in water, you add heat. What happens? You make a, huh? Seriously? Well, you're not sure. It's sugar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't question yourself. If you put sugar in water and then you add heat to it, it becomes syrup. Your simple syrup. Part of compounding. Okay. Well, our dextrose, I mean, that is not submerged in heat, though. Okay. So dextrose in water is actually kind of sugar and water, right? Sodium chloride, on the other hand, is salt in water. Do you agree? Yes, that's how I picture it, okay? Now each IV bag will have a percentage. Okay? Say for example, they said, the dex, this is a dextrose, D, this is a D5W. This means that there's five percentments. Oh, five percent dextrose in water. Can you follow? There's five percent dextrose in water. And if I say that this IV bag is a hundred ml solution, my question is, how much solute, which is the dextrose? is in this IV bag. How much solute is in this IV bag? So I'll go here, right? Why? It's solid, dissolved in a solution or solvent to create a solution, correct? What can I do to work this easily? I said that this is the same. So this is going to be five grams of solute which is your dextrose, correct? For every 100 ml of solution. You see this? So my question was, how much dextrose is in this IV bag? So this will be X grams dextrose. You agree? What do I put on the denominator? Over a thousand ml solution. What's next? So if I'm solving grams, I gotta put the word grams of dextrose because this is your whole youth. What's the answer? 50 grams of dextrose. 50 grams of dextrose. Did you see that? Easy, why? No matter what the volume of this IV bag is, it's saying that it's 5%. So, say for example, this is 100, I forgot to grab 100. Say for example, this is 100 ml. There'll be five grams of dextrose or AKA sugar in here. But if it becomes 1000 ml, it's not only five grams. To keep it at 5%, you should have 50 grams of sugar or dextrose in here. Is that clear? That's why we use ratio and proportion. Okay, I don't know if you heard me tell the story about um, when I used to work in the hospital, when I worked swing shift, I'd have to make IV bags, I mean, in bottles, measure the salt, add the water, seal that bottle, send it for autoclaving. And then the next day it comes back. Because during my time, IV bags were just starting. You know those old movies where they hang the bottle upside down? <laughs> make them from scratch. Measuring the salt, putting it in the bottle, adding the QS add water, seal, and then an orderly will come, take it in a cart, send it for autoclaving, the next day it comes back. When it works swings, that's the first thing I do. I go straight at the back and make hundreds of bottles. Okay. 
so it's sort of the best friendship is giving that. More sterile, of course, single use. So we don't have to sterilize because it should come sterile. Do you see that before I jump to the little bit more? Okay, good one. So quietly, it's either you understood or you're lost. Yes? So let's do more practice. If I say this is B10W, what does it mean? 10% dextrose. dextrose in water. Which one is your solute? The dextrose. So you're asked how many grams of solute. Say, for example, this is 10% B10W, 1000 ml. Okay? Let's make this 10 now. So this means 10% dextrose. Now I want to ask you how much dextrose is in a 500 ml IV bag then? This won't work anymore. Okay. Now we're at D10W. My question is grams of dextrose in a 500 ml D10W. How do we set it up now? Very good. It's the same way. How do we set it up? Okay, 10 grams for every 100 ml. ml. That's your 10% right off the bat, right? But the bag is not 100 ml. The bag is? It's 500. 500 ml. So this is your X gram. The answer is how much dextrose is in here? 50 grams. Of solute, which is dextrose in a 500 ml. Clear? Yeah. Or I erase this and make it a little bit more complicated. I want you to digest it. It's going to change once we get solved. Sophomores, junior, seniors, coming back? Yeah. yeah. Now you think you can answer page two? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you got in, you got an um, uh, what do you call that? Alzheimer's. Yeah. Yeah. Alzheimer's is six weeks ago. <laughs> you guys. Questions? Yeah. Your kids are raised. Yeah. Gia will erase. If not, stop him. Oh, you, you need it? I, I forgot. Yeah. Somebody told me, or many people told me, stop and like the video, right? Because Karen watches the video. Use any other color but the green. It's hard to see. And you know what? In the old days, it was hard to erase. So this is 50 grams of dextrose. I should at the back today. 500 mlb 10 w Got it? Moving on. Let's talk about salt. Oops. The only I should have just done it. No, I'm already struggling, so what's another <laughs> set of dust? <laughs> All right, and you said leave this, right? Yes, yeah, okay. that one. Thank you, Gio. No worries. I'm glad you're well now. Yeah, me too. You're, you're back as a board director. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to take that job away from him. Ashley took away his job, switched life as a light engineer. I don't know if that's even a promotion from light engineer to board director. I don't know. Okay, ready? I had him erase just the ones on the side. Okay, love this one. 
going to be a little bit different when we're talking about sodium chloride. On the PTCE or any of your major exams, one of the abbreviations I didn't write when I started, most common abbreviations is N X, which stands for normal. And a is sodium chloride. Sodium chloride. But that is salt. Yeah, it's salt. It is salt. Remember, I told you where there's salt, there's water. So if you have salt retention, you have water retention. Think about this salt and water are best friends. Think about the beach. Be nice to be there today. <laughs> <laughs> Sodium chloride. I cannot be repetitive enough on this one, huh? Sodium chloride is not the same as normal saline. Normal saline will always be 0.9% sodium chloride. It's less than 1% sodium chloride. Normal saline will always be equivalent to 0.9% percent sodium chloride. This is why this is one of the most dangerous conversions. That's why I paused. Who was the baby who died because of this? It was a lead law. Remember that? Sequence one, Humpty law. That's Gina's baby for Gina's presentation. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, yours. I really want a baby. No, I assign case. Yeah, okay. Cases, okay. So there are two babies that died that we study all the time. They're case, okay. One is a baby that's close to home, which is Summerlin Hospital. That's a physician. She died. What was the wrong calculation? Micrograms. Mm -hmm. She was supposed to be the IV bag is supposed to be injected with micrograms of zinc. But instead, the pharmacist, pharmacist error, not technicians who don't always think that it's only pharmacy technicians who commit the mistake. You gotta remember your partners. You don't let them go under the bus. Okay. I always am so proud when I walk in a hospital and they say, oh my gosh, you're still caught in mistake before. Say something. There's something wrong. Okay, they're going to appreciate that more than anything, and they're going to remember you. I'm like a proud mama walking and they say that you caught the mistake. But it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Okay, so the IV bag was injected with milligrams of zinc instead of micrograms of zinc. It's not only the pharmacist who had that mistake because it passed. Five, at least five pairs of hands, five pairs of eyes, five pairs of ears. Not just tech. A thousand times overdose of zinc, which is a metal. The baby died in pain. This case, though, Emily's law. The case became a law in Ohio. Pharmacy technician made whipped up an IV bag. Do the wrong calculation. 23 point something percent overdose. Because probably the tech didn't know that a normal saline is equivalent to 0.9 percent sodium chloride. That's painful too. Too much shot. The baby was crying. That was a terrible headache. Both sad stories. Alyssa Shin, the parents had two miscarriages before she came. And she's a miracle baby. She died. The parents separated because they got no more reason to stay together. And this law. Emily in Ohio, she was diagnosed with 
Will that tumor cancer? She went through chemotherapy. It was supposed to be her last chemotherapy to make sure that it's gone, gone, gone. And she was so about to celebrate her second birthday, cancer free, a few days before she turned two. But she ended up in the morgue. You will research this case. I want to learn I want to see what happens when we're negligent of our jobs. I'm not saying it's just negligence. One of the reasons we have this medication error is this, overworked, understaffed. Medical professions are overworked, understaffed. So the text said there's no IV bag that's exactly that percentage or concentration or amount. So she did a math herself. She, she whipped up one and it was wrong. So this is important. When you see normal saline, it means that it's 0.9% sodium chloride. They don't always put this on the test. It is something that you need to remember. So I don't want you to see, to say that the solute is normal saline, because that's wrong. That's the solution. Salt is sodium chloride. Okay, so say for example, this IV bag is a thousand ml, right? But this time, this is normal saline. So this thousand ml IV bag is normal saline. Thousand. So question, question is how much solute in grams is in this IV bag? Miss L, there's only one variable, especially during a, fi during a final or on the PTCE because they don't write this, right? You have to know that a normal saline will always be 0.9% sodium chloride. Right. How do we solve this problem? Jonathan said 0 0.9 grams over 100 ml. Correct. That setup alone is correct real fast. Why a normal saline is always 0.9% sodium chloride. And what do I do on the other side? 1,000 ml on the bottom. Very good. 1,000 ml at the bottom. And this is at grams. Proceed with cross multiplication. So how much is the solute? Nine, this is when I want to hear it. Nine grams of? Sodium I have to see sodium chloride, not normal saline. But sodium chloride is the solute. And you put NS, that's wrong. Because I just told you many times that normal saline will always be 0.9% sodium chloride. So if you receive a bag that says half normal saline, what's the percentage of that? 0.45% sodium chloride. I had a student who worked at, at the Clark County Detention Center. There was a nurse who said, well, the prescription said half normal saline. Why are you giving me a 0.45% sodium chloride? Respectfully, she answered. Because a normal saline is 0.9%, so half of that is 0.45% sodium chloride. Is that clear? Yes? Mm -hmm. Let's do some practice. That's really cool. Maybe let's try answering your page too. Just think about that. <laughs> Passing the 
Let's try answering page two of your pop quiz, which I don't expect you to answer. Doing the initial run. There we go. That will be numbers five, six, seven, and eight. Too quiet means I don't understand, or aha, uh -huh, it makes sense. We better speak up now. We got 30 minutes, and tomorrow is final exam. I know. It went by so fast. Tomorrow's final. <laughs> Tomorrow we discuss the equivalence, which is easy. But know that mill equivalence is a unit four. What do we use mill equivalents for? Mill equivalents is for normally sales. Hey, there you go. Thank you. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Hint, hint, wink, wink. If NaCl is sodium chloride, what's KCl? Potassium. Very good. What do you think of D5NF? D5. That shows 5% in D5NS. That shows 5% in? In normal saline. Very good. Okay. Now redeem yourself. Number <laughs> five, answer it. Mateo remembers. Yeah, I just answered the solid wrong. Exactly. That's how you get it wrong. If you put NS as a solute wrong, you have to remember NS is the solution that has 0.9% sodium chloride. Clear? You gotta remember the salt and the sugar are your solutes. So if you're asked what is the solute amount, it should be grams of dextrose or grams of sodium chloride. Make sure you use proper abbreviation, capital N lowercase a, capital C lowercase l for sodium chloride. This is your crash course percentage. <laughs> this is gonna be repeated sequence too. So this is new to freshmen, but should not be new to sophomores, juniors, and seniors. This one should have it solid after this topic. Draining, huh? <laughs> I told you I can teach this. It doesn't matter all day. I have to put myself in the shoes of students. A lot of questions on percentage show up on the PTC, so you've got to master this. This, have to master this. Remember, one more terminologies tip comes up on the PTC. 0.9% sodium chloride or normal saline is considered an isotonic solution. ISO. ISO. Isotonic solution. That's 0.9% sodium chloride. Anything equivalent to a 0.9% is isotonic solution. So what do you think is the prefix if it's less than 0.9%? Anything less would be isotonic. Hypo, isotonic. Hypo. Oh. Iso means equal. Hypo means below. Hypotonic. So a 0 0.45 is a? Hypotonic. Hypo. 
tonic, a half normal, so you need a hypotonic solution. What do you think is higher than 0 0.9? Hypertonic. What killed Emily? Jerry. Hypertonic. Hypertonic solution. Anything higher than 0 0.9. These three terms show up. Okay. So I don't want to forget. Even just prefixes, they show up as a question. Macro, micro, hyper, hypo. This 0.9% is the tonicity of the blood. So when we inject, it has to be the same. We'll get more in depth with this topic on sequence two. Ready? Freshman, <laughs> how are ya? Wes, Benny, Jasmine? If you're done with five, six, seven, and eight, continue working on the rest that you missed. Continue working on the rest that you missed. Because that's what you're going to do for the next 15, 20 minutes that will be left over for us. Okay? Because this quiz, I love this quiz. Preparation for time. Well, I think we can. Because I told them not to do this around Tuesday. Yeah, I don't want to do this. Oh, no. We don't want a weekend to work. I feel the um, oh, it's 45 days. I don't the card. Yeah. But you get the title within 45. But they gave me 45 to be on. Yeah. I go back. Yeah, the money has been in their bank. <laughs> they have to see this. Yeah. Ready? Just do five, six, seven, eight before I give you the rest of the time to work on. I mean, to work on the rest of your quiz, okay? I'm feeling. <laughs> I'm feeling good about half of you for the final exam. So because the class is too quiet, I'm feeling scared for half of you, okay? It's a lot, I know, that's really? why. Finals week, I'm always tired for some reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been teaching you two days with one night. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying. I have an interview today at 12, but you guys are welcome to stay and wait for me after that interview. Take your break, and then we'll do tutoring again. I have nothing to do. Just kidding. <laughs> I'd rather that I stay here. Help you out with tutoring instead of putting in failing grades. Okay. I want to do that. But I don't make your grades. You do. We just record your grades for you. Ready for answers? I want you to know the answers for five, six, seven, eight before you guys move on. Do you understand it better this time? Yeah, I just like, um, hold on. Sequence two. If you pass sequence two, you should not have any more problems. Allegation, according to the student. Yeah. <laughs> but you have to master this topic because this shows up a lot. 
both PTCE and EXCPG. Okay, of course, everything's in a word problem. Answer to number, Javin, you ready? Yeah. One, more. one more. Okay, good job. <laughs> It's your mentor's fault if you don't get it. <laughs> it's Gina's and Sarai's fault if you don't get it. Wait, who? <laughs> <laughs> if Jasmine and Manny don't get it, it's your fault, the two of you. Who's your mentor, Wes? I mean, Ashley. it's technically supposed to be them, but. <laughs> it's okay. The Wes is too far away. Yeah. And he gets it. Don't worry about it. He gets it. <laughs> 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 well, he gets it. He gets it fast too. And he stays and he asks for answers. With, yeah, with a little time given to him. I wish I were makeup. And look at his dad. <laughs> You can't study how well you're life guarding. You can't be on your phone. You can't be on your headphones. You can't be a lazy river. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Jay and I love the lazy river. I didn't know Tahiti had lazy river. I thought it's just MGM Grand. I saw your dog. Well, you're like a cow. So which one? Oh, I didn't hear her, like me. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty that's difficult to find. <laughs> like, what are you doing here? <laughs> I forgot to have, yeah, I, I took a couple of months ago an old couple who who are her or friends at that um we have a how do you call that time chair? Yeah, I took them there. Um, we had lunch a couple of months ago. Pretty. I didn't stay though. I was like, come on, stay with me. My friends are seniors. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Okay, number five. 25 G or 25 grams should be on the first line and then off dextrose should be in there. Who got that one? Hands up. Number six, 1.125 grams of, it should be NaCl, not NS, because it's solute. Or you could have rounded it off to 1.13 grams of NaCl. Who got that one? Hands up. That's fine. <laughs> Enter. Repeat, please. Six. Six. 1.125. But the solute has to be? NACL or sodium chloride spelled out. As long as you spell it correct, Jonathan. <laughs> Number seven, answer. 5,100 grams of dextrose. Ah, uh, my level is a little bit going up now. My, my satisfaction level or I'm not too scared level for five months anymore is going up a little bit. Okay. Number eight. Then, okay. see it. 27 grams of sodium chloride. Sodium chloride. Who got that one? Okay. Do the rest of this quiz because it's a really, 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 really good review for fun. Okay. Going over your final exams. The only thing you have gone over is the equivalence. And the dosage calculation is pretty easy. Registration is hard. Any questions? <laughs> I, I'm at 90, maybe 87 percent. Feeling good about your final exams tomorrow? But let's ask individual students. 
All right, how do you feel about final tomorrow? Are you ready? Yeah. How much percentage? Ready? 99.99%. 9, <laughs> 9 point or 99? 90. There you go. You should be. She's a senior. It's embarrassing. It's not. Vanessa, you ready? Yeah. How much? 100. That's another I senior right there. Gina, are you ready? <laughs> Percentage. Like 95%. 95%. It's giving that 5% allowance for today to to get her monkeys like stress her out and give her anxiety. <laughs> Kill those monkeys tonight. I need to sleep. You need to sleep, correct. The things that you need to do. You need to sleep, you need to hydrate. Okay, I think I was just dehydrated yesterday. So, trick, I put a couple of pinches of pink salt, Himalayan salt in my water. Just with that, gets absorbed by your tissues. So if you're dehydrated, you'll think that, oh, okay. And the doctor just said, oh, patients say, like, I drink water, a lot of water a day. But without the salt, this isn't getting sore. I'm just real good by the tissue. So they did a lot of tests, seeing that no matter how much water this person drinks, still dehydrated, right? Tissues. For the tissues to get, for the water to get absorbed in the tissues, you add a little bit of salt. She said, it's best is the kick in the rain. I did that last night and I, I felt like so drained and I did that, that it dissolved in a glass of water. Not a teaspoon, that's a lot. Probably three pinches of it. And I kind of got revived. Of okay. I have a mint plant as well. Like it says on the instruction to water it, like leave it in a dish and add a quarter of water in it. I forgot to water it for two days. And it was like this, like it was dead. You know what I did? I put water and I just did some things. 30 minutes when I saw it, it was like straight up again. So this is amazing. You put salt in it as well? No, I didn't put salt, oh. but it just told me that that mint was dehydrated. Like in just 30 minutes, it got its life back. So last night, when I did that water with a little bit of salt, it felt the same way as probably as the mint felt. Okay, let's go back. Fresh men this time. Annie, how do you feel about tomorrow's finals? 80%. It was like, that's all I'm saying right now. <laughs> I'm waiting for you. <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> Be here. Okay, what about you, Jasmine? If it looks like this, then I would say it's 85%. The other is just that I need enough for the other one. Yeah. B over T. B over T times C. Or B, C, and T. Okay. Wes, how do you feel? You're <laughs> got it so it's it's a you thing now it's an overthinker thing okay remember kill the monkeys in your head right now tonight yes but i gotta do an interview first for new new students it usually takes hopefully if there's no background issue <laughs> Yeah, without a background issue, it can be 20 to 30 minutes. If the student has a background issue, that's long. Yeah, go get something to eat. I'll see you guys in the classroom. Okay. Um, where are my juniors? Mark, how do you feel? I'm confident in saying Okay, but I know you're staying, right? <laughs> I know who's staying. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Percentage. Talk to me in numbers. Talk to me in numbers. 85 percent still needs to study about 15 percent. Okay, that's good. That's amazing. Okay, let's hear from the sophomores. Gio, how do you feel? Like 85 to 90. Pretty good. 
Yeah. I'm not gonna want you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look stale, I know. Yeah. yeah. I've had oh my gosh, you guys! Yeah, they're tutoring each other before in the morning. No, no, no! It's because the day oh, before, the day before yeah, flying off. The day before he was. And then you okay, so he called me, Jonathan. You know, I want you to help your brother during the weekend. He <laughs> went. I was like, ah. so like, <laughs> he went. He went out the day before. He's like, I went off. I went off. Oh, well, you got to thank me. Yeah. And because I, I forced him to. If I did it, look at his reaction. Uh, yeah. Uh, assigned me to help my brother. <laughs> That's cute. So you went out on weekend, but you didn't get to tutor him. And then Duncan. I fact, really late. And I did. I fell asleep. I woke up at like 10 that night. And I was studying on my own. Oh. <laughs> Uh, that's what they promised to tell again. Yeah. Hey, I was so smart. What a responsibility, huh? Yeah. That I gave you. Okay. But it seems like it's pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. It's feeling pretty good. 80, 85%? No, uh, at least 85 or 90%. 85 yeah. Good. Okay, we have a lot of stuff. Matea, how do you feel? He's just never absent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was tough being absent a, a day before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you she could have gotten better. <laughs> she didn't do too bad. I don't want you guys panicking and cramming. It adds to the anxiety. Same with me every morning. That's why I hate it. That's traffic ever. Um, Valentina, how do you feel? About 75. Okay, he was passing at 77. Just so you know, you get at least climb a little bit more, okay? So, um, uh, Ashley, how do you feel? You're gonna use your calculator. Just, uh, <laughs> she has a calculator now. Fun fact about it. Um, I brought up this, like, going to the store to my mom. She's just like, no, we have a calculator. Oh, the one that was missing? You found it or no? It's in the other room. That's it. This is my mom. Cool. How do you feel? She looks so cute. How do you say? In Japanese. In Okay. I'm hot lock. I'm hot lock. Gotta get ready. Uh, Naruto. <laughs> Did I say Naruto? Naruto. Wow. <laughs> Naruto. She's like, ah. I just heard it. But I don't I don't really. <laughs> so, um, how do you feel? Percentage? Um, like minimal. Minimal eighty, but I feel like. Okay. Still have a couple of hours till tomorrow's finals. Okay, bring that up. Jonathan, how do you feel? I feel good. Okay, good. 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 What's the percentage? <laughs> Normal thing. The scary. Oh, no way, Jonathan. A hundred, yeah. Okay. What did I miss? Anything less than a hundred, you you let it down. Right. How do you feel? Percentage. First time I did the math, I took the bond. I was really behind, but same thing with this one. And I bond like the first one, so I'm taking now. So. Uh, what I did last time is like, watch the video from the over and I redid the packages probably like five times because I had to play for like a few weeks. That's not a good time today and Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, I know you guys are going to call out from work. <laughs> no, I don't. Or I have today off. <laughs> it's okay. That's good. Yeah, I'm going to say it. So what I, I was saying, like, the, the 
Let's see. There's 60 minutes in an hour. No, like it's like three hours. I was I was using one eight and three. So I think I need to differentiate. Yeah. <clears throat> I remember her during the first sequence. I thought she was gonna fail because she wasn't doing good initially. And then I said, this is a person who really studied, but it's scary because if you're just studying the day before, that's a lot, okay? But like she said, she, she said first four, I know, I have my interview already, they're waving. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary, I was so scared for her that she's not gonna pass the finals. But surprisingly, like she did good. And that's with a 10% deduction, correct? And that's what I'm saying. Most of the time, it's not that you didn't understand. You needed more time, okay? And I'm buying you time. I asked Ms. Jay for her class. Okay, I stay three hours for tutoring. That doesn't usually happen. An hour tutoring is what we do. Then we cut you off. Okay, was it? It was three three hours. I didn't leave until the last person. Okay. Any questions? Any questions? Okay. I'll see you guys. If you want to wait, you're welcome to wait. I will be back after this.